Things that can know them from the Limerick Institute of Technology. And today I will be talking with you about the greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect is a process that occurs when gases in Earth's atmosphere trap the sun's heat. This process makes Earth much warmer than it would be without an atmosphere. The greenhouse effect is one of the things that makes Earth such a comfortable place to live. As you might expect from the name, the greenhouse effect works like a greenhouse. And a greenhouse is a building made entirely of glass and is used to grow plants, such as tomatoes and tropical plants. A greenhouse stays warm inside, even during the winter. In the daytime, sunlight shines into the greenhouse and warms the plants and air inside. At night time, it's colder outside, but the greenhouse stays pretty warm inside. This is because the glass walls of the greenhouse trap the sun's heat inside. The greenhouse effect works pretty much the same way on Earth. Gases in the atmosphere, such as carbon dioxide, trap heat in just like the glass of a greenhouse. These heat trapping gases are called greenhouse gases. During the day, the sun shines through the Earth's atmosphere. Earth's surface warms up in the sunlight, absorbing this heat. At night, Earth's surface cools, releasing that heat back into space. But some of the heat becomes trapped by the greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. These greenhouse gases are water vapour, carbon dioxide, methane, ozone, nitrous oxide and chlorofluorocarbons. Too much of these greenhouse gases can cause Earth's atmosphere to trap more and more heat, which can result in climate change. Before we go on, what is the difference between weather and climate? Weather is the day-to-day -day state of the atmosphere and its short-term variations in minutes or weeks. People generally think of the weather as a combination of temperature, humidity, precipitation, cloudiness, visibility, and wind. We talk about changes in weather in terms of the near future. How hot is it right now? What will it be like today? And will we get a snowstorm this week? When we talk about climate, we talk in terms of years, decades, centuries, even millions of years. Scientists study climate to look for trends, such as the changes in wind patterns, ocean surface temperatures and precipitation. This can cause the earth to heat up and affect the climate and cause climate change. Climate change can result from either natural processes and more recently due to human activities through our emissions of greenhouse gases. Examples of natural factors include changes in the sun's intensity, volcanic eruptions, or slow changes in the Earth's orbit around the sun. Natural processes within the climate system, such as changes in ocean current circulation. Examples of human activities contributing to climate change include carbon dioxide emissions, through burning fossil fuels such as coal, oil, gas and peat, methane and nitrous oxide emissions from agriculture, emissions through land use changes such as deforestation, reforestation, urbanisation and desertification. The Earth's climate has changed many times through the planet's history with events ranging from ice ages to long periods of warmth. What's different about this period of the Earth's history 
is that human activities are significantly contributing to natural climate change through our emissions of greenhouse gases. These emissions that are changing the composition of the Earth's atmosphere are termed as the greenhouse effect. For the past 200 years, the burning of these fossil fuels and deforestation have caused the concentration of heat-trapping greenhouse gases in Earth's atmosphere to significantly increase. This results in increased air and ocean temperatures, drought, melting ice and snow, rising sea levels, increased rainfall, flooding and many other influences. In conclusion, the greenhouse effect is the earth heating up from heat from the sun becoming trapped by the greenhouse gases in earth's atmosphere. Human activities are increasing the concentration of fossil fuel emissions in the atmosphere, causing the earth, the earth to trap more and more heat. This has resulted in climate change and some devastating effects seen globally today.